The channel area of the erosion control demonstration facility is designed to demonstrate larger volumes of water flowing at faster rates. The channel contains rock check walls used in combination with strips of turf and also contains plantings of vetiva grass. Firstly, the water is run across the top of the slope at an angle of approximately one degree. This is the sort of slope that would be expected in an agricultural drainage channel. At this slope, the water does not gain speed or therefore power, so that little or no erosion should be observed. Then, as the water snakes around the corner, the slope changes to 3 to 4 degrees and the flow picks up speed and energy, and erosion begins to occur. What's obvious from the demonstration is the effect slope has on the power of the flow. Towards the end of the channel, where the slope inclines to 8 degrees, the water contains a substantial amount of energy, and its erosive force has increased dramatically. After the flow of water has ceased, the remains of the demonstration illustrate a number of points very clearly. At the slight slope of less than one degree, there has been little entrainment of material and therefore little deposition of sediment or silt. The surface roughness of the turf slows the water, dissipating the flow and its power. It allows the deposition of sediment and infiltration of the water into the ground, more so than a non-permeable ground cover. Once the turf cover ceases, the power of the flow increases dramatically again, scouring the bottom of the channel. Along the steeper slope, the rock check wall again captures most of the larger material entrained within the flow, and the turf traps much of the sediment. The sediment on the turf can at times be quite deep, but as a living product, the turf has the ability to grow back up through the deposited material.